Ian Cameron starts a match for the first time since August as it's an all Dutch strike war with a Mander Ark and Hansiel Hearts. Manager Walter Smith stands by the team which played so well in beating Motherwell on Saturday with Alexei Mikhailichenko preferred again to Peter Halshaw wide on the left. The referee tonight, Mr. Les Wattrom from Wilson Town and Lanshire. A capacity crowd inside for Audrey for this crucially important match. Rangers coming here with four straight victories out of five. Just that shock defeat ten days ago against St. Man, blighting their recent form. And Aberdeen have to face this very difficult match with a patched up team once again. There's McCoist. And the ball swerved behind. Well beaten this time by Winnie, but it's a good recovery by the former Norwich City man. Good play there by Spackman. Gordon setting up. McCoyce, there's Gordon again. That's well controlled by Kane. Goff topping well with the aerial challenge made by Van der Ark. Another on by McCoyce. Here's Hakeley. Very neat turn. McCoyce, dummy, allows Gordon to take over. That's a great effort by Gordon. And by Hakeley. A superb finish by Hayley. 1 0 to Rangers. Five minutes of the first half gone. And after an outstanding save here from Theo Snelder, from Dale Gordon, he deserved better fortune than that deadly finish from Hayley. Well, joy at the beach end for the Rangers supporters. Great setback that for Aberdeen after a very sprightly start to the match. And their character being tested very early in the game. And a free kick though, which Ken Cat will take. Leash going into the area. Well beaten by Hatley, back defending. Down goes Hillhouse, that's a penalty kick. Gary Stevens going into the back of Hillhouse in a very clumsy fashion. And his protest there will be in vain. Well, this is an amazingly rash challenge from a top-class defender. It's a vital kick for Aberdeen. The rebound from Ken Katz. Aberdeen have equalised. Theo Ken Katz rescuing his countrymen with amazing reflexes here. Pushing the back from Robertson. Let's be allowing play to continue with Aberdeen in possession. There's Van der Aert. Back to Cameron. A shooting chance perhaps. It came off his nets up. There's Ten Cat. And that's brilliant goalkeeping by Gordon. Really didn't appreciate the challenge there of Hillhouse. This free kick. The place is there first time. He goes again with Richard Goff. Cameron's headed on. Here's Kane breaking. Well tackled by McCall. Choice to Mikarichenko. And Hatley there has a chance in the turn. Snelder was caught there in two minds. Well, it could have been punished for that, the Dutch goalkeeper. Too long for Cameron. Ten cat again. There's Winnie to Cameron. Both former St. Winnie players. Understanding showing there. Hillhouse clashing with Spackman. Spackman still did well. That's McCoy. Hakeley's ball inside, picked up by McCall. That's fine play by Hakeley. His pace is good enough here. It's a great chance for Rangers. That was brilliant. The goal of supreme quality by Mark Hakeley. He started that all by himself with that pass into the path of Stuart McCall. That is explosive pace. Took him away here from David Winnie, but wait for the finish. Snelder's coming out and out of the angle. He takes one look up and thunders the ball home. Well, that was a truly great goal in 35 minutes from Hatley. Giving Rangers a lead, which at this stage in the match, they really cannot be great. Truly magnificent goal. And from the Hatley point of view, 
satisfaction about the finish, but also about the initial pass. Here's Ian Cameron. Going on the six-yard line. Goff makes a late run into the area. Picked out there by Spackman. Here's Bradley again. There was no offside. Was there a push in Haitley? That's the question being asked by Richard Goff and Mark Haitley. We'll see this again. Goff wasn't picked up coming into the box late. Headed across. Met there by Haitley coming in. And Brian Evan behind him. There didn't appear to be anything in that. So we've had 45 minutes of the first half. And referee Mottram brings the excellent entertainment to an end for the moment at least. Mark Haitley, the hero of the hour for Rangers. Aberdeen set off with the mammoth task of turning this match around with Rangers certainly in the driving seat courtesy of that quite sensational goal from Hayley. Here's Dale Gordon. He's been allowed to turn. This could be dangerous for the Aberdeen defence. Now with Robertson. Mikhailichenko free on the left. Going away from Kane. Good play by Mikhailichenko. There's Hayley. And he was very well marked there by McLeish inside the box. There's Hillhouse. Well saved by Gordon. Good challenge that time from Irvin. There's Gordon. Picking up Gary Stevens. Good play from Rangers. Blocked well by Snelders. It broke against McLeish. There are howls for a penalty kick for handball against McLeish. Pretty much from well positioned to deny that. Robertson looking for Haitley. Into the path of McCoy, it goes, there's McLeish. McCoy gets the thought. A fine goal once again for Rangers, right out of the blue. Hayley with a head flick on. McLeish lost his bearings there. McCoy did a slight touch to get the ball away from the Aberdeen centre half. And then a delicate lob beyond Stelters for yet another Splendid goal. Well, McCoy scoring his 18th goal of the season. Rangers coping extremely well in the early stages of the second half with anything Aberdeen could throw at them. And now they've produced that fine combination up front to make the cushion into two goals. And bring the chant from the beach end of Super Alley. Bad ball there from Stevens. There's Winnie. Spackman intercepts. Into the gap it goes for McCoy. Good defending by Irvin. Turned away by Haitley. Back towards McCall. Here's David Robertson. Trying to go all the way himself. Mikhailichenko retrieves possession. Aberdeen player on the ground as Mikhailichenko looks for Gary Stevens who's onside. Tried to pull that back for Haitley. Well, despite that um, countenance, Walter Smith, I'm sure, is a very contented manager at this stage in the game. The Aberdeen skipper available again. Up towards Van der Ark. Cameron helping it on. Away by Goff. Cameron again. There's Hillhouse. One this time by Stevens inside the box for Spackman. This is Gordon. And now McCall. Haitley's given that straight to Hill out of the chance now for Aberdeen. Hill out going beyond Gordon. Still has a chance. Blocked on the line and forced home in the end by Irvin. Aberdeen are back in the match. A disastrous pass back here by Haitley. What was he thinking about? But Hillhouse kept at his feet, but in there to Irvin. Then it was blocked by Goff, and Irvin reacted quickly enough. Here's ten cats. Hillhouse made a good angle. So did Bet. That's a good effort. Patched over by Gordon. Made it on by Kuznetsov. There's Cameron. And it's a magnificent save from Gordon. Cameron taking the head of clearance, taking the ball first time on the volley with the left foot, drilling it towards the far top corner, and that was Gorham at his best. Piling on the pressure, looking for this equaliser. Another awkward ball played, and Gorham comes to meet it under severe pressure. There's the header, and Gorham again reacts quickly enough. Looking for Brown. 
Now he's tackled well by Kane. The ball's taken in the middle. He's laying. The offside flag is up in one count. The free kick has been given. Disappointment for Hatley. Bill Muller from Perth to Lindsman. Flag up raised there, denying Mark Hatley his hat trick. Getting away from McLeish. A call to Gordon. Good play from Rangers. Good possession play. And the final whistle goes. Rangers are the winners. To the delight of these supporters at the beach end. It was Mark Hatley's two first half goals which set them on the way. And then Ali McCoy's third goal in the second half which made Rangers look safe until Hatley produced that incredible flashback allowing Brian Irvin to bring Aberdeen right back into the match for a grandstand finish but the Rangers defence held out over the piece they deserve the point